guys welcome back to my channel I thought we would take a little break from unboxing videos since I have like a ton of back to back and do something a little well I wouldn't really say a little different I've done something like this before on my channel I guess I should have checked on how I did it before but basically on my channel I went through my my figure collection page and went through stuff I had on my wish list. I think I just went through it and explained why certain things were on my wish list or something. I don't know if I actually went in and cleaned it up, but that's what we're doing today. We are cleaning up my my figure collection page and you get to see all the stuff that I was interested in getting at the time and um yeah, so how exciting is that for you? I don't really know how exciting it is really uh, but without further ado this is just gonna be a chill video so I like doing these chill videos I just never know how to set everything up like I, I can never get this lighting right on this end of my room so I apologize if the angle is weird I apologize if the background looks stupid and I apologize if the lighting sucks anyways let's go ahead and get started please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think let me know if you have any of these uh figures or whatnot on your page and how you feel about them and let's get started uh my figure collection splits categories on here so there's like a figures category and then there is a goods category and then there's a media category i'm gonna go ahead and just start with the figure uh, category and then we could maybe in a different video go through the goods category if you really like <laughs> this video uh, maybe I'll do it anyway just because it's a chill video so I have 216 figures on my <laughs> wish list so how we're gonna do this is we're going to start I was gonna say we could start from the end but I guess we could just start from from here from the from the beginning all right I have some garage kits on here, like this Sailor Moon one that I really, really adore. But like, yeah, I wish I had it, but like I want them pre-painted. So do I keep that on my wish list? Because even if I get it, it's probably not gonna be pre-painted unless I commission someone to paint it for me. But am I really gonna go through the hassle of finding it, then finding, it? I don't know. <laughs> Um, so maybe I'll just take the garage kits out as beautiful as this is these Shugo Kiara minifigures I think I was just in well <laughs> for a lot of these figures on my wish list I feel like I was in some kind of manic episode where I was like I need all of this so uh, <laughs> as much as I love Amu and Shugo Kiara I don't think I, I don't think I absolutely need these like mini cheap looking figures so we're gonna take the stuff out so wish no more delete she's so cute though she's like a early nendroid or something you can like pose her and everything anyways sorry Amu all right next up we have okay I actually really want these so I'm not gonna take them out, but my God, these are, how big are these? These are three inches. Y'all go look this figure up. This one, this creamy mommy one and the creamy mommy of Morisawa Yu. Go look them up on eBay and see how much it is for three inches. Okay, and come back here. <laughs> okay, cause disgusting capitalism but no I'm still keeping him just in case by the grace of God I find a very cheap one I haven't really looked since I added them to my wish list so okay this Mugi one to Mugi one I really freaking want this figure would go so well first of all I love her so much she's so funny she's so cute but this figure would go so freaking well with my crunchy roll figure 
Maid Cafe version of Todu and Kana from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I know they're not from the same show, but like it'd be so cute. It's like a little crossover. And my Maid Todu Maid Cafe figure is holding a pan and a plate of omurice, and so is Tsumugi on here. Although on Tsumugi's it says K on in ketchup, but it doesn't really matter. Ah, that would be so cute to have. I've seen this go up on sale on my figure collection before and at the time I couldn't like afford it because I either had to pay for other figures or I had just bought stuff from like Baiyi or something and I like spent my budget already. So really sad and I know the price is just going to keep going up but She's a one seventh. And she's so freaking cute, and I'm keeping this on my wish list. This I really like her, and I think I just added her to my wish list because I just wanted a figure of her because she's my favorite character from Anohana. But she's still a little bland, so I think I'm mean, I'm not like dying to have her. So we're just gonna take her out. I think you'll also notice if you watch my channel for like. An extended amount of time you'll also notice just how indecisive I am I will tell you I do not like this figure and then a month later I will turn my back and go get that figure because all of a sudden I changed my mind and I love it and all of a sudden something something clicked in my brain that I really want it I don't know what it is but um <laughs> There is this Rin figure, this 1 8th Blue Exorcist Rin. I do want him. I love him. He's adorable. Uh, he's probably not the best painted. I don't know. I mean, I can't really tell, to be honest. Oh, they should do more previews like this. Um, I think he's cute. I think he's adorable. Oh, he's got a bonus face. And I love how you can put Kudo on his shoulder. Yeah, I want this. This Madoka figure I just wanted because I thought she was super cute I mean look at her she's oh my god she's so cute no I still want her oh I want her and I want mommy and I want uh Sayaka because they're my three favorites oh my god and I can put them like even if I don't display them in my room I can display them at work in my little work cube oh so cute yeah I want these okay I was gonna take her out but no uh this Asuka figure from Evangelion. I will keep for now because I keep going back and forth on whether I want her or not. So yeah, we're gonna keep her. I do have a part two Radio Eva figure being shipped to me of her and I'm so excited. I think that figure is stunning. Oh my god. And it's gonna be my first Asuka figure and I cannot wait. So we will hold out on this. A lot of these are like magical girl ones. I had a whole like Attachment. This is so cute. I do really want this still. I'm not taking that out. Is this a scale figure? No. Interesting. Oh, there's like a big seam line on her. Anyways. Um, uh, okay. Attack on Titan figures. For some reason, I really want an Attack on Titan scale figure. But like, every time I get the opportunity to get one, I just don't get it. And I don't know why. Like, I know I want an Attack on Titan figure. Actually, I have all the Nendroids still in their boxes because I pre-ordered them when they got re-released, but I never took them out. Well, I have Levi, Eren, Mikasa, and Armin, but I haven't unboxed them and I just don't know why. And I, I just, like the only Attack on Titan figure that I'm dying to get is that Eren figure, I think. Oh, I can't remember who it's by, you guys. Oh, it's by Good Smile. It's a scale figure by Good Smile of Aaron. And I love that figure so much. He's like mid-air and everything. I, I absolutely love that figure and I think they executed him so well. I think that is the best Aaron scale figure. But he's the one that I cannot find for a good price at all. So I like this Levi figure. And I like the fact that it goes together with Mikasa and uh, Aaron. But I think I'll keep him on my wish list for now just because I wanna see if anything better comes out later, which I mean, at this point, if it hasn't come out, probably won't <laughs> at all now, but we'll, we'll see. Um, this Watamote figure of Tomoko, she's a prize figure. I rarely, rarely consider prize figures, really, if at all, uh, but 
of, it's like an old anime. There are no scale figures of her. I have her Nendroid, thank God. She was a holy grail of mine for a while now. This I would love to have just because there's no figure of Tomoko out there whatsoever. And she comes like with her little bonus head pigtails. So cute. I don't know if you guys who have seen the show remember that scene. I love it so much. Uh, I really do want her still. Um, okay. I'm gonna be honest, I'm going to take this off my wish list because even though I think she's beautiful and stunning, I never seen the damn show in my life. I added her to my wish list so I remember to go watch the show. It's been years now. It's not happening. I have a whole anime watch list that is collecting dust at this point. So well when I when I get to it, we'll we'll come back to this figure. Let's clean up for now. This Kisei figure I had the opportunity to get and I skipped out on uh, at the time because I had pre-orders, again, that went over my budget. Um, I still really do want him because Kisei is my favorite out of in Kuroko's basket. But like, I feel like if I get Kisei, then I have to get everybody else. And I'm like, I, right? Like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like if I just get Kisei, would he look weird displayed on his own? Because I have these free figures, but I have everybody on there because I like everybody in free. So I don't, like I would display him with my free figures because that's like my, that would be like my sports anime show. So there's like swimming, <laughs> a swimming group displayed. And then there's like one lone basketball player. <laughs> would that be weird? He looks pretty neat though. I might still get him. Um, Homura. Oh, she's cute as hell. I don't remember having her. Damn, she's really cute. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Do I want her? Am I gonna die if I don't have her? No, I'm sorry. I'm taking her off. Ah, she's really beautiful though. She is very beautiful. Love you, girl. Not that much though. Uh, here's that Aaron figure. I'm not gonna click on it, but that's the Aaron figure I was talking about by Good Smile that I really want. Um, this is Hinata from Haikyuu, if you live under a rock. He's a 1 8 by Takara Tomi. Uh, I just thought it would be really nice to have a scale figure of these characters. Uh, but now that I look at it, he's kind of, he looks a little off. I like his shoes though. Oh, I see. Eh, we're gonna take him out. I'm not gonna die if I don't have him. This is a card captor Sakura figure. I think she's adorable. At the time, I really did want her. Like I was like, I have to have her. I will die if I don't have her. Uh, but now I think I can move on. I really think I've, <laughs> I really think I can move on. She's not even a scale. She's an Ichiban Kuji. I, I'll live, I'll live. This, okay, let me be honest with this. This is probably the prettiest Chinibyo figure out there but that's the only reason I wanted it because it was very cute it is very cute it's still very cute and I love the like background that she's jumping in front of and I love the pom-poms adorable but her as a character I'm not as attached to her as I am of Dekomori or maybe even Rika I think she was hilarious I really do like her still but I'm not I don't think I'd like die for her if I ever rewatch the show and I find that I'm obsessed with her and I miss my chance at getting her, I will be livid. But I'm pretty sure at this point she's already expensive. If I decide later that I want her, I guess that's for future me to worry about. This is a Miku figure that I actually do want. She's a one fourth, so she's like bunny scale size. And she is in her original uniform. I love her pigtails, but I know, sorry. Uh, I know that's gonna take a lot of space. Her base is massive too, Jesus Christ. Um, but she would like sit at the top of my shelf. But look at her, she's like, oh, look at the, look at her in this angle. She's like massive. God, I freaking want her so bad. Yeah, I'm keeping her. I love her. And I do, I, the only Miku scale I have is the Trigger Miku figure that got re-released, which I love so freaking much, oh my god. But I also want a Miku where she's just in her original uniform. I need the original Miku, you know, everybody needs like, every Miku fan needs like an original 
Miku. Do re mi figure. I, I think this figure is actually huge. Eight inches, yeah. She's actually huge. I'm gonna be honest, I have the Nendroids and they piss me the hell off. These would have probably been a better route to go. I don't know if they have all the girls though, but like this would have been better than getting the Nendroids. The Nendroids, like I hate them so much. Not that they're not cute or anything or well painted, they are, but assembling them and keeping them together, like you can't even touch them. Like you, you put one little finger on them and they crumble to bits. So this probably would have been the best route to go in buying a Doremi figure. Uh, I still really want her and I'm gonna keep her. And yeah, this is, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon or something like that? Um, this is Hestia from Kotobukiya. She is stunning y'all. I love her so much. I can't really remember how much I like the show, but I think like, I feel like she carried the show. I remember like starting season two of this show and she wasn't there and I kind of just dropped it. Unless she came in later and I, don't, I didn't know, but like I dropped it maybe like the first two, three episodes, maybe, um, cause I didn't see her. And she was like my favorite in that show. So uh, maybe I still will get her because I like her and she's a 1-7, she's so cute. Like she's a stunning figure. Um, and then I have this racing Miku figure, which I can live without. She is stunning, but like I have a Halloween Miku. You know, if I, if I go down that road where I get every Miku figure I really, really like, it's not gonna stop and then I'm gonna have a room full of Mikus, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, okay? I love Miku, but like, then I'm not gonna have room for any other figures and it's just, I cannot, I cannot go down that rabbit hole. So we are going to take her out. I can live without her. And then there's this Anohana figure, which is stunning. I added this figure after I watched the show and like bawled my eyes out. So I think I was still in that like high from like watching it. Uh, so as stunning and as beautiful and as cute as she is here, we are going to remove her from the list. I am sorry, but it is what it is. Okay, this Madoka Magica, I hate that there's so many good Madoka Magica figures because then I just want them all. And that's the same thing as falling into the rabbit hole as Namiku figures. Uh, but this is like with Homura and Madoka together. And I think they have, yeah, I think that's like a red string. Oh no, no, it's not. I'm just stupid. Oh, but now that I look at it, Madoka's face looks a little empty. Like there's not a thought going on in there. All right, we can take her out. I do love that it's a one seventh though and that they're together, but alrighty. I've been recording for 40 minutes. All right, we gotta like hustle. Um, this, I really love this Alba figure a lot. I have the Nendroid. Um, I did want a scale of her too. Um, I still want this. I think it's still it would still be cute to have, so I'm gonna keep it on my wish list. But I do have the bunny figure pre-ordered, which I cannot wait to get. Um, oh my god, her and Hifumi I have pre-ordered. So yeah, we'll keep this for now because I still really love Alba so much. She she helped me through a tough time uh, in college, so I'm keeping her most definitely. Um, 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 there is a mommy figure. I have this mainly because I wanted a figure of mommy because she is one of my favorites from Madoka Magica. However, she is really cute though, but I can live without her. I need to force myself to get over it. This is, I can live without her to be honest. I don't remember like the plot of this show whatsoever. I feel like this whole show was a fever dream for me just because of how I remember it. Um, I really liked her though. So, and I know this show, like a lot of people don't know this show. I do recommend watching it. I remember liking it, but I don't remember what. <laughs> um, and this like, this is just weird. She's like, <laughs> she's got a fucking wedgie or something. Like girl, but like, <laughs> I liked, like I thought she was cute except for that one hand and ass pose <laughs> so we're gonna 
Oh man, we're gonna take her out. She is a 172, which is nice, but whatever. And then there's this Spike Spiegel figure, which I really love. I think he is so good looking. He is chef's kiss. But I think I'm just happy with the current Cowboy Bebop figures I have, uh, which are the Mega House, Faye, Valentine, and Spike Spiegel figures that go together. And there's like that glass background um, behind them. And they're like in fighting action. I think it's super cool. It is a pain in the ass to handle, but it is beautiful nonetheless. So we could take this one out. Oh look, another Miku figure. I don't even like this one anymore. Yeah, I, she looks stiff as hell. We don't need her. That's an easy one that we can just toss out. Uh, this Kana figure, I really loved this at the time and I really, really, really wanted it at the time. Uh, and it's a 1-6, but comparing her to the figures that have been now made of her, I like those better. She's just meh to me. I do appreciate that it's a 1-6, but eh. Although I will say I do really I really would like to have one of her in her regular clothes. Um, I only have one of her dressed as a cat and a cafe maid. Again, Anohana, we can remove. Girl, I'm sorry, you made me cry and I was... Oh, she's so cute, she's a one four. Okay, no, I can live without her though. Delete, girl, bye. Um, this is Kaoru. I think it's a cool figure and I think the only reason I had this on my wish list is because it's a cool figure, very dynamic, very cool. Such a strong stance, but A, I don't think it'll really look good on my display. B, I already have a Kaoru, a Radio Eva Kaoru pre-order that I like better than this. And C, it's just gonna take up a lot of space with those wings. I just, and even if they're like removable, I feel like the wings are what like give this figure so much power. I like this Ray more than I like the part two Radio Eva Ray, but like I can still live without Ray. She she's very cute though. But I can live without it. It's fine. Uh, goodbye, girl. I didn't even pre-order the part two one. I didn't like that one. I did at first, and then they painted it, and I'm like, eh, I don't really like the jacket that she's wearing with the lace at the bottom. I love this Shinji, but the main reason I like this Shinji, first of all, he needs to change those damn shoes because what is that? Uh, but I actually really only like this Shinji because of the corduroy pants. The texture is everything to me. Even where like it folds by his knees, oh my God, stunning. But then that's about it. He's super cute too, but it's like very meh plain. So we're gonna, sorry, goodbye. I think these are neat figures from My Hero Academia, but I don't, yeah, I don't really, I don't need it. It's fine. I'm not like a huge, this was like after I watched the first season, first maybe two seasons, but like, I feel like my hype for it has gone down. I really like the froggy girl though. Okay, let me tell you something. These are ugly ass Bungo Stray Dogs figures but I still want them because, first of all, it's Chia and Dazai and they're my ship. But th that's not the reason. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, that's not the reason. The reason is because they go together and they're doing that one pose from the show when Double, ba Double Black came back together. Look how ugly they are though. They're so fucking hideous, but I will do anything <laughs> to have them. <laughs> God, they are like, they're like interestingly ugly. Let's say that. Anyways, <laughs> we're keeping up, moving on. Um, I don't give a shit about these, sorry. I don't know why I got so aggressive there. About these look up figures anymore. So, actually, at least not the um, Demon Slayer ones. That's the Homura. Mm -mm. These, I still need to order Shinji. I'm still like thinking about it. I never or ordered Madi, even though I really, really like her. I think she's cute here. I don't know, for some reason I just couldn't get myself to hit pre-order. There's that. Uh, this is the Ray that I just skipped out on. So we're gonna remove her from my wish list. Like some of these figures that I have, I swear I was like high or something when I, 
this is cute actually, but like, I don't, what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> what am I gonna do with my entire collection actually? But like, come on, we need, we need some kind of limit. I was actually going to order this when um, pre-orders came out of this creamy mommy figure and I'm mad that I didn't. I'm mad and I'm also not mad. She's a quarter scale. That's like the biggest creamy mommy figure out there. She's super cute, but I feel like, like on one hand, I'm like, it's like super plain for that price. I think it was like $300 or something. But on the other hand, it's like, all right, like what, what pose do you want her in? It would have been nice if she was holding her wand or something though. Um, I will keep this for now though, because I really do love mommy. Uh, this is, I don't need this. I have a Yuta figure. I don't even like this one. I think it's super cool and it's like, I don't like it for my display is what I should say. Um, but it is a really, 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 really great figure. Ha ha ha. So this spy family Anya figure is an Ichiban Kuji. It is not a scale, but it's super freaking cute. It's probably like one of the best Anya figures out there. She is so freaking expensive on the aftermarket. But recently I was able to find her. I think, I don't know what store I pre-ordered her from, but there's two versions. Uh, there is this version and then there's another one where she's wearing her regular black one. Uh, they they recently restocked the black one and I was able to pre-order her uh, for <laughs> a better price than what the aftermarket is going for. I can't really remember what I paid or pre-ordered her for, but it's still pricey a little bit for what it is, but I think that's only because they saw how much she was sought after and kind of took advantage of that a little bit. Uh, but still kept it lower than what the aftermarket price is. So I don't need this one. There is this Miku Cage beautiful figure, but I am huge base, but I am, I can't do another Miku. Sorry, goodbye. Except for that original uniform version. This is the Jujutsu Kaisen E-Stream figure. I love Inumaki, but I hate this figure so much. I just, I hate this big power effect thing he has. I know, like even if like you could remove it and even if they didn't make it with it on there, I feel like it would just be a plain figure. But like, I don't know, I'm gonna pass on it. Don't really care about it anymore. I can live without it. Oh my God, we only went through one page y'all. All right, <laughs> so maybe I will do a part two of this uh, cause this is, <laughs> This is a lot, uh, which is which is fine because this gives me an excuse to make more chill videos. So we'll go through all the figures that I have on my wish list, and then we'll go through um, all the goods in the media, which I don't really have anything in the media, I don't think, because uh, media what is just manga, books, and maybe like music, but I don't collect any CDs or anything of anime. Uh, and for manga, I'm not gonna go out and like you know, add each volume to my wish list. When I get it, I'll just add it to my own list because there's not really much manga that I want. I think there's only like, I don't know, three manga that I actually really want to collect from three, like three series that are like my top, part of like my top anime. I'm not, I'm not like a huge manga collector or anything. But yeah, um, that was me cleaning up my figure collection wish list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I know sometimes it can get a little much when like every video is like back to back unboxing. I just don't know what else I could do uh, in terms of figure collecting videos. So I thought this was a good, I don't know, segue or, or a good little break. Yeah, I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully hopefully soon. Bye bye guys.